Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to uh, my very first installment in this Thief series that I'm going to pick up here on the channel. Don't know how long it's going to go, but uh, what well, we're going to play through the game. You can see I've already got it. We're getting ready. We're going to dive right in here in a second. I'm just going to do a bit of a rundown. Uh, I've, I did spend a little bit of time in the game. I like to do that prior to a new title simply to get uh, my controls. First of all, get my controls all worked out so I'm not doing it mid-episode, you know. And, and struggling to, uh, to set up a, a, contr a control scheme that works for me. The other thing I wanted to do with this game in particular is that they uh, they supplied a lot of different options for how you want to play this game. Do you want to go like ultra purist, or do you want to you know have a little bit of hand holding, or do you want a lot of hand holding and just have the game kind of guide you through what needs doing? I like the middle ground, you know. I'm I'm new to this series, uh, so I had to spend a little bit of time and and figure tried to figure out what worked and uh, what felt comfortable and what would kind of keep this, the, 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 the gameplay of the series rolling forward without me getting lost out there in the city too often. But I didn't want the handhold, so I, I sorted all that out. And we're going to go in here, we're going to play some master uh, some master gameplay. So, without any further ado, let's let's get this rolling. I like this game though. I love it. It's, uh, you know, for stealth fanatics out there, stealth fans, uh, you're going to love this game. You're going to enjoy it, you know. For the guys that really like to challenge themselves, you can go ultra purist, uh, turn everything off, and you'll have a, probably have a really great experience. In fact, I plan to play that way at some point. You know, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i do a second playthrough with everything shut down. But it's, you know, there's no... There's one well, thing I'll, I'll let Garrett uh, run things you down here. You can put a price on anything. Secrets reputations a life and trust if you have to ask you can't afford it but then I suppose none of that matters when you're me after all when did I ever pay for anything so what I was about to say there as we uh, find ourselves in this drunken fool's apartment <laughs> and uh, well let's let's kill the light too much to keep light. him keep him sleeping what I was gonna say is there there's Stay nothing that really beats in here. nothing that really beats uh, playing through a game with that ultra challenge on your first playthrough you know that's where you really you're really gonna find that uh, the gameplay is that much more satisfying when you complete a complete an area really clean on your first pass but uh, going back in and playing it completely purist style the second time through well that's fine with me, you know. For the for the episode's sake, for the series' sake, just to keep the action rolling, moving in a, well, moving forward at a at a decent rate, I decided to keep like some stuff like the waypoints on. Uh, I I do have loot glinting. You can see that's glinting in uh, anything that's uh, that's worth anything of any value, is kind of glinting in the in the candlelight. Yes. So it's worth grabbing. The other thing I love, I mean, there's a lot of searching to do in these in these areas. Like look at this. Okay, so we open up the cabinet. And uh, I, re I highly recommend for you guys that are new, it's not really needed here. But uh, once you get a little deeper into the game, where guards come into play, uh, I recommend closing up uh, a lot of these cabinets or, or, or crates that you that you decide to search, you know. Because if, if a guard spots an open cabinet or crate that wasn't open before, you know, he'll go and check that out. And he'll get alerted, he'll get freaked out, he'll know there's a thief in the area, you know. So it's really, you have to be careful, you know. You want, do you want to cover your tracks, or do you want to play hasty, right? And that's the balance you have to try and strike. And like I said, there's a lot. I mean, the cabinet, we had to go through both drawers, and that's the same. I mean, it's not just like one, one drawer in a desk. To really clean out the desk, you have to search everything, you know. Okay, so I think that's probably mostly everything I'm looking for. Let's hop out the window and get into uh, we'll get into the city. This is still just going to be the tutorial at this point, but uh, it's done well. It's done well enough to the action isn't boring. It doesn't feel like a tutorial, you know. And some games they the tutorials really do feel like just a, a grinding tutorial. This is kind of fun, you know. This drives the story forward. And, uh, and helps us understand the mechanics of play at the same time. <laughs> and look at him, look at him. I like the way his hands go up there, you know. Real slowly, if I just inch forward, he slowly pulls the curtain across. And there we go, now we're in. Now, uh, look at that. Sudden movements near birds will disturb them, alerting anyone nearby. They're like a, a household alarm system, you know. That's what Someone's these things turn into. Lover. And if you're not paying... Anything's more my taste. I should take a closer look. And if you're not really paying close attention to your surroundings when you enter an area, and you'll just there'll be like this random bird in a cage somewhere on a desk. <laughs> and if you go 
whizzing on by there a little too quickly, you're going to get alerted, and you're going to alert the guards. Or you're going to get detected, and you're going to alert the guards in the area. Now, this I liked right here. You know. And actually, I'm discovering right now that the switch, the switch my first time through was right over here, you know. So we're looking for a little uh, a pressure plate, a, a trigger to uh, pop this. There it is right there. And you can see it highlights in the, in the circle at the center of the screen. And there we go. We'll trigger this pressure plate, trigger this switch, and it, oh, we'll get him here and the, uh, expose the safe. And now we're not done yet, you know. We've got to do a little uh, lock picking. And I'll tell you something else. After getting a little bit further into this game, you really do begin to get a good sense of what a difficult lock is. And that wasn't really a difficult lock. Pretty basic, pretty simple. And uh, some of them get uh, considerably more difficult, not only in the number of pins that you have to set, but also in kind of the sensitivity, the range that you have to activate them, you know? What the? The birds are freaking out. Uh, damn, somebody's making a lot of noise up there. Well, they do call the rooftops the thieves highway. I just hope that's not who I think it. So when we uh, find uh, unique loot in in a in a mission, um, we get we can go into the journal and take a look, and it just gives a little bit of a backstory. I'm not going to do it for everything. I will do it for some of the more from the, for some of the journal entries that come in, though. Anyway, grab this here. Now we do have a bow as Garrett, and looking up here, I'm gonna equip the bow. This is a uh, kind of a rope arrow, right? So now I'm going to try and shoot it up there to that that beam. And voila. And now I've got uh, access to this upper this upper rooftop. So that's kind of nice. And you have different arrows for different tasks, you know. Aaron. Of course it is. Care to make a little more noise next time? How else would you know it was me? Basso did tell you we were working together on this, right? Well, I showed up, so what do you think? <laughs> I think you haven't changed a bit. Come on, it'll be just like old times. Old times, old times for who? Not for me. You know, I'm new to this series, but I'm a, I'm a fan of stealth games. You know, I like them. If you've spent any time on my channel, you, you should realize that. And uh, you know what? After spending a little bit of time with this already, I'm loving the kind of the stealth mechanics at play. Really well done, really smooth. And uh, hopefully, well, hopefully the enjoyment continues all the way through the series, you know. Hopefully there's enough out there to really keep the gameplay fresh. It doesn't get stale. I'm glad you could make it. Did you pick that route because it was fast or because he thought it'd be fun? Can it be both? Come on, let's get Basso his commission. Okay, now the light gem displayed in the lower left corner of the screen indicates whether or not you are hidden in the shadows and dark areas. When the light gem is black, you are less likely to be spotted. I have turned the light gem off, and I'll explain to you guys why. Uh, if you look at the lower left-hand corner, I do have that green bar. That's are my you health. Are use any of those shadows, Lady Lamplight? I was just scouting ahead. I know you always like to go first. Normally, the light gem rests at the heart of my health bar, you know? <clears throat> So uh, we got some corner mechanics here, and I can, for, for tighter cover, you know, for a smaller gap, like watch this here, if I lean out a little bit, and now I can change cover, you know, so that comes in handy, I'm, I'm sure it'll come in handy at some point. You should get yourself one of these, see you on the other side. Looks like I won't be going that way. Let's finish unloading before summer's day is Now the reason... Why not drink to a job well done first? We, we can't just leave the cart out here. It's festival The time. reason that I opted to go without the, uh, without the light gem was because if you notice, there's a, a flash on the screen. Every time I enter a, a well-lit area, you know? So there is a visual cue to let you know that you've entered, you're now exposed, you know? There's nothing to tell you that you're, you've gone dark. So that's kind of the the difficulty, and it's a l just a little bit less hand-holding. I like the visual cue, it just seems a little more natural, right? So that's why I opted to go that route, and that's what I was spending time trying to figure out. What was going to work, what did I feel comfortable Garrett, come on. Uh, removing, what features did I feel comfortable removing, and uh, which ones do I do I still need? Like, you can see the waypoint. Just I'm not a big fan well, of the waypoint, but... I made it myself. I'm sure the watch will be very impressed. They'll certainly hear us coming. They'll have to catch me first. Just be aware of your surroundings. It's not about taking in the sights, Garrett. It's about taking in the loot. Oh, it's about doing both. We're gonna enjoy ourselves, yeah. Deal, right? 
I've been stealing since before you could crawl. <sighs> There's the Garrett I know. How about a friendly wager? Let's see who can take in the most. Oh, Aaron, it doesn't always have to be a competition, darling. <laughs> All right, so you can see the waypoint. I mean, I'm not a big fan of it, as I was trying to say, but just for the sake of knowing where I'm going, so I'm not always wandering around lost or keep the episodes moving forward at a, a reasonable pace, um, I kept it in here, you know? Look what I found. You and me out on the town? Why didn't we stop doing this again? Do you really need to ask? <laughs> God damn. It's, it has to be the competition, right? Fine, fine. I'll grab some scissors here. What else do we have? Nothing. And uh, you're really... You feel... I mean, I don't know how to describe it. It just... It feels really good. The little that I've played in this game, the stealth, it feels really good. You spend a lot of time playing the thief. You're, you're in there just trying to look for loot and, and <laughs> fill your pockets with gold. Okay, now we can uh, we can peek through the, pe the, the keyholes here. Profile in places where I'm not welcome. And that's a, a lot of those places. That's a really nice feature, you know. So you get a good sense of what's what you're walking into. Ah, oh, wrong button. Well, right button. I just held it too long. Here we go. Now we still have to pick the lock. So we're just waiting for the circle to fill up, and then I can try and set the pin once it does that, you know. All right. Now, there is a focus bar available in the game that I have completely disabled. You do have, like, this focus vision mode that will help you pick locks a little faster. Uh, it will highlight uh, loot and, and different points of interest on the map or on in your area, on in the game, in the game world, you know? And I don't like stuff like that, you know? Focus bar, what the hell do I need that for? The glinting loot is, is certainly enough, you know? Now, we have this right here, a voyeur's diary. Secret in this name. We'll head uh, straight in and we'll take a look. Madam Flower's relationship with Watchguard continues. Husband, still absent, sent an honest letter. Now, the, the key here is Mr. So-and-so rented an apartment across the street. He must, uh, must be, con there must be a concealed wall safe on the lower floor, left of stairs. Always something valuable passing through his hands, but can't see exactly where he hides it. Knew he was up to no good. So that, uh, these little, these little, you know, notes or notices that we can pick up in the game world may give us clues to better treasure, better loot, you know. And uh, different safes, and, <laughs> and so you got to keep an eye out for that. You know, it's certainly worth doing a little bit of reading if uh, if the payoff is worth it. Now, did I check all the all the drawers? I think I did. Yeah, I haven't checked this yet though. A little bit more in here. You know what? We'll just we'll close this up nicely, and uh, when she returns home. She won't be aware that anyone was even here. If you're going to urinate in the street like a watchman, at least do it out of the light. Everybody can see you. <laughs> the ale has to go somewhere, dear. I'm just the middleman. <laughs> Besides, you're the only one watching. That's a great line. I like that. Every day I'm reminded what a catch you were. <laughs> okay. Come on. Let's go try those gavel wings. So uh, she was actually the woman down there. She, I think she was the one whose apartment we were just in, you know, so we just stole all her goods. Okay, so here we are. Now this crate over here is open, so I think Erin, you know, the person we're tracking or the person we're running with, I think she's already been through here, so she cleaned this joint out. But this is the apartment across the street, and actually I found this already when I was already in here. You know, And uh, there's our, our the, you know, the wall safe that uh, we were alerted to, that we should go look for, you know. So it actually is out there in the game world. So when you get find little notes like that, go hunting for some. Uh, you'll go hunting for for what it's describing, and you should be able to find something worth looting. Oh, we have a bird in the area. Can you hear it? Can you hear it squawking? Damn cassowaries! <laughs> That'd be something to see, eh? Big old cassowary from Far Cry 3 in the uh, in that little bird cage. So I think I can just kind of wander by them at a reasonable pace. Uh, they they are alerted to failed lockpick attempts, you know, and uh, they'll start squawking. And if you do, you have a swoop maneuver that I don't know if I've done it yet, but uh, well, we'll get into that here shortly. It's not how much you steal. It's what you steal. And how you steal it. Looks like this primal stone thing that Basso wants is in the ceremony room at Northcrest Manor. It's the Baron's mansion.
won't be easy. Some real, uh, you know, Worry? animosity yes. between so these two, you. right? We'll be fine. Some sexual I'll pick tension. Up your this job's getting more complicated by the second. So what was I saying about the birds? I guess, uh, yeah, I did mention that if we, if you fail a lock pick attempt, it'll kind of the birds will start squawking. If you swoop past him quickly, there's a we do have a stealthy a swoop maneuver that we'll get into right about. It's coming up here shortly. That's a lot of guards. They're definitely not here for the summer festival dance. A lot of guards means a lot of steel. Thieves and swords do not get on well. I've never had a problem with swords. But then again, I'm not just a thief. You can uh, you can swoop pretty effectively around guards or past them, so long as you're moving through the shadows or quickly through the light. But uh, the birds will have none of it. The birds will have we none of it. We can't let the Baron's guests see this thing giving out. And we can't frigging see without it. Ah, we go off and on all the time. So you can't fix it? Do I look like an engineer to you? None of the staff can keep up with all his lordship's experiments. Not going to be there you go, that was the swoop. The you know, it's work. just a quick movement right through the light. We'll continue on our way. Slowly approach the guard from behind. Crouch to avoid detection. Alright. We'll move in. Aaron's already posted up here. She's waiting for me to... Uh, well, I guess she didn't want his coin first. That's fine, and that's beautiful. I love that. I love that pickpocket. It's just, it's so, like, cat-like reflexes. He just pounces. Pounces on that, uh, that coin purse. He's been purse. trying to light a fire basket for ten minutes. What am I, his father? Go on, before he sets fire to himself. All right, now water poses new challenges. Obviously, a kind of a, an auditory one, you know. Got to... You're going to create a little more sound, and uh, so it's worth not only getting down into a crouch, but also have to really tiptoe through these, uh... Well, anything that has water in it, right? Now I can pick up the pace again. We'll lean on the wall. We got a couple of coins right here. Exposed well in the light, so I gotta be careful right here. And there we go. You have to do a swoop coming up here. Getting off the wall, I, uh, it's uh, what is it? Left trigger? Right trigger, there we go. Alright, swoop it! Swoop it, Garrett! There we go. Beautiful, sir. Beautiful. Okay. Coming in here, found a new arrow water arrow this time so we'll pull that out get our bow ready and uh, basically you know it's just great for dousing a fire killing the light in the area so that we can gives us access to uh, to an otherwise well lit area right and now again back through the water slowed things down Garrett and I always I tempt fate you know I'll take like one little fast step <laughs> just to speed things up a little bit you know all right, there we go. Grab that, and trust me, it cost me a, a couple times. Every the first time, time I was going through this tutorial. You couldn't set a cloth of flame if it was doused in oil, son. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> if you pack it together too close, then the air won't feed the flames. Uh, I should know better. My family used to be charcoal burners. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. I love the dialogue going on. This guy came. giving him a hard time because he can't light a fire. Poor sucker. And he's uh, comes from a long line of charcoal burners. Huh? Yeah. Oh, come on. I need to take him down quickly, quietly. So, a little melee bash across the head. And so long as I think you're moving in a direction when you grab him, you'll just continue to carry the uh, carry the body until you want to get rid of him. Now, my goal here, you really do... I was really uh, trying to consider contemplating how I was going to play it. Was I going to be the thief that, uh, that just runs purely as a thief, you know, and tries not to spill blood while knocking out a guard or two here or there if needed? Uh, and I think that's how I'm going to roll, because after I got in here and, and, and got into some of this gameplay, it really is satisfying. It's a lot of fun playing the stealthy thief, you know, and trying to avoid conflict, if you can. And, of course, what that's what happened? Garrett wants to do. Why'd you right? kill this guard? He was barely older than you. He was a guard, Garrett. Wrong place, wrong time. You haven't changed, have you? Aaron, on the other hand... What does hand, mean? It means... I don't kill without thought or good reason, and I don't get paid for it. She has no so problem please, spilling okay blood, you know. You do it, but not me. I see. I get it. But you know that guard? He's not going to wake up later and follow our trail to cause trouble. When any guards wake up, I'm usually long gone. She's pretty reckless about it, too, you know. Taking a life. Don't like it. 
What's she doing? Is she what is she doing? Sulking behind the tree there? I don't know. Where am I going? Am I following her? I guess I am. I should know these things. I just went through this. <laughs> Alright. Can I is there a keyhole here? This is what I was wondering before. Oh, there is. I went straight to the uh, to the lockpick before. Alright. And after I started the lockpick. So Maybe I should go first. I was wondering if I could actually look through this this keyhole, but I can. I can. So I would imagine you can do it on any door. Come on, get in there. There we go. Oh, not a big. I mean, it's not a big deal if you fail a pick, unless of course there's like a a sleeping guard nearby or a uh, what are you doing, Garrett? <laughs> or a bird nearby, you know. You're holding me back. Oh, will you? Relying on that claw. Do a rundown. Back. <laughs> Aaron. Okay. So, and one more game mechanic coming into play here. We do have throwable bottles. This goes back to, uh, well, as I recall it, uh, old, the, the original Splinter Cell, tossing pop cans around, you know? I don't know if the old Thief games had that mechanic as well. I, I would imagine they probably did, you know? Okay. But uh, this is new for me. I mean, I'm not, I haven't played any of the old Thief games. So hopefully I can do this justice. All right, here we go. Let me get to my, my bottle. What I'm going to do is we're going to get him distracted. What's going on here? Go about your business, sir. All right, there we go. Now we're in, and it's always good, you, you know, fill your pockets with, with something that you can toss as a distraction. You should always be trying to carry something, you know, just so you have it in case you need it. And while he's way down there... There's a couple of coins I'm going to grab. Now, am I going to have time to swoop back across? It doesn't look like it. So. So, uh, we're going to have to distract him one more time. Oh, no. Raise the alarm! Oh, no. Now he's, now he's completely You're on here Oh, don't you come over I here. I will find you. <laughs> I botched that. I was trying to get it beyond Shadow the kind of the planner, but uh, it didn't me. work. It didn't work. Ooh, that was close. That was real close. Give me another, another distraction device. Yeah. If I was hiding, where would I be? I wish it would stop going to my bow. There. Whoa! Who caused that noise? <laughs> All right, there we go. I think I've got him nicely distracted now, and uh, we'll enter the new area. Yeah, <laughs> he's pissed. Uh, he is ring pissed. Ring the frigging bells. If you keep pacing up and down, you'll wear through those new boots. It's my girl, sir. She's presenting me to her father. He doesn't know I joined the watch. And? City watch means honor and respect. The thing is, sir, he believes that rat sack rumor about us being on the take. Oh, Corrupt gods, eh? Then you pull his frigging nose <laughs> out of his arse. Right? All right, sir. well, if they're on the take, it's time for Garrett to take. There we go. A little something. Get my cut out of the deal. Anyway, I picked up another water arrow for you guys that were paying close attention. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put it to, to use here, though. We've got two guards in the area. A big old bonfire. Now, if you take out this fire, one of these guards will inspect it. And, and he'll go relight it, you know? So I like things like that. I better get into the, right up here on cover, you know? I don't want to get spotted by this guy running patrol. There's a little bit of loot in the area that I'm going to go after here. We'll swoop over into the shadows. And actually, let's uh, let's distract this guy for a second. What? What could that sound have been? I'll grab this I loot. Just you stay hidden. If you know what's good for you. Ah, it wasn't anything, I suppose. What? Oh, are you, you kidding me? Are? Damn it. All right. Well, we'll load it up. Oh, <laughs> goddamn. That's a shame. I was just going in there to take those candles out, too. Now, what is, is this guy still... Oh, he's coming back now. He'll be able to drop down there without getting noticed. Oh, yeah. I'll be good. I'll be good. Get down there, Garrett. Let's do it right this time, sir. And, uh... You don't, you're not going to be able to, uh, to pickpocket him this time. That's your penalty. <laughs> That's your penalty. You're going to lose that seven gold. I'm still going to make a move for that central loot, though. 
Okay, let's see here. Let's get him tucked right in over there. Hey, what could that sound have been? Right, here we go. Who's there? Anyone? Take out those candles. And we do have a crate right here. Now this was the the first time I discovered that I don't know if I mentioned it already. I think I may have touched upon it though. That uh, if I leave this crate open, the guards will get all spooked, you know? They'll see it open and they'll they'll know that it wasn't supposed to be open, right? So then they go on a, a big old patrol. They know that there's a thief in the area. They see the gold missing. And uh, that was their well that was their take. That was their corrupt payment, you know? And they'll have they're having none of it, right? So I ended up hiding in here when that went down last time. And this is just a good little spot to kind of tuck yourself into. Just as this guy runs a patrol. I'm going to creep up behind him. And hopefully make a move on this ladder successfully. There we go. And uh, we've, we're out of the area. One little fail there. Ah, uh, that's a shame. But uh, well, what can you do? It's going to happen, guys. It's going to happen. Alright. And a little rope right here. I wish I could do a little bit of a, you know, a sprinting rope climb, but you can't. You can't. You're stuck at that, that rate of speed. You're Maybe it's a skill that you can, uh, you can acquire. A chair, probably. I'm worried you're gonna get us both killed. I can handle myself, okay? I can move faster. I can climb faster. I can. You can kill faster and make mistakes faster. I get it. Speed is only Not good control. if you have control. That's for you, Ash. That's why I'm better. <laughs> Deal with her. Let's just get the job done. Oh, we're gonna take the claw away from her. She hasn't earned it yet. Do it without this. You know, she hasn't earned it. She's taking shortcuts, and I don't like it. <laughs> so we're gonna strip her of her tool, her bludgeoning tool. You know. So guys, I'm going to wrap it at, uh, after this. So, you know what? Thanks for stopping by. I hope you liked what you saw early on. I hope you guys will follow the series. Maybe you'll show, us, you show your support and, uh, and thumb up the video. Robes. Robes and robes but uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for Brothers tuning in. Brothers Cornelius, Aldous, present the keys. This burn, Northcrest. Brothers of the Awakened. We are gathered here to usher this city into a new age. One of progress and industrial enlightenment. Let us begin the channeling of the primal. Samla and Straga Khan. Skermama Kana. Come on, let's go down there. This will be fun. No, we're done here. Job's over. What? Are you joking? Something's not right. It's too dangerous. And you're not ready yet. You know, I'm not a kid anymore. I can do this. I'm going down there with or without you. Not without this, you're not.